Hey everyone, Nat Frankenstein here. Uh, I'm doing a really super quick review on this week's episode of The Walking Dead. It is the penultimate episode, second to last uh, of this season. So if you haven't watched the episode yet, this video will have spoilers. Do yourself a favor, go watch the episode first, put this on favorite, go watch the episode and then come back and we'll talk about it. But until then, let's jump into it. Um, so, Oh, today's episode of The Walking Dead, it was called East, uh, and I, I think it was a lot slower than a couple of the previous episodes. Um, well, I mean, it started off kind of slow, um, but I liked that this, this episode kind of focused really on relationships, the relationships between all different people in Alexandria, um, I liked that it was, you know, I mean, we start with Carol, who of course is leaving the compound, um, which I don't want her to do because I love Carol and uh, I'm, I'm worried because it's the second last episode and this episode, if anything, I think has proven that they are setting up something huge for the season finale. Um, but yeah, so it, it kind of focuses on all the different relationships. So you see Carol, as I mentioned, you see Rick and Michonne in bed together eating an apple, which was kind of sweet. Um, you see, um, you see Glenn and Maggie, you know, kind of showering together. Um, you see, who else do we see in there? Um, you know, you kind of see, um, Abraham and Sasha, which is, you know, it's sweet in a way, but it's kind of awkward because Rosita's there as well. Um, and of course then there's Daryl who is just, I think, struggling, um, with the guilt of his relationship with Denise being that, you know, she kind of died on his watch. Um, so everyone kind of ends up everywhere. Um, I actually, just going back, um, I really also enjoyed, um, you know, with Carol having gone, that Rick and Morgan went out to look for her together. And I love the interaction between them because, you know, Rick is very set in his ways. And as he mentioned, you know, he doesn't take chances anymore. Morgan is still very set in his way in that every life is precious. And that, um, you know, I liked how he told the story of the wolf, how you know, he encountered the wolf and then he encountered it again. And, you know, the kind of chain reaction that was set, you know, with that wolf, you know, with Denise, um, and then, you know, the wolf kind of saving Denise and Denise in turn saving Carl. And, you know, Morgan kind of mentions that, um, it, you know, it kind of came full circle that people can be helped and it can have a positive effect. And even though Rick was still so, you know, against the way that Morgan is, um, there was still this trust that he has for him to kind of find Carol still, um, you know, by himself, which is what happens because Rick, um, you know, he ends up going back to Alexandria. But I really like the dynamic between those two and I really appreciate that they can both be so different and yet still kind of trust each other in a way and still kind of have each other's backs and you know like as Rick was leaving he kind of said to Morgan you know you will come back and Morgan's like yeah I will so there is that mutual respect and trust despite their differences and I I really appreciate that because um I like Morgan I like Morgan as a character I know a lot of people don't like him I find him annoying don't get me wrong like I don't always necessarily agree with you know, his code of ethics and his morals, but, um, I, I like his character. I like the way he's portrayed and I like that he stays true to himself, which at times is very hard to do in an apocalyptic environment. So I, um, I really, really, really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, so everyone's kind of like split off into little, not groups, but I mean, Daryl's gone out and obviously Rosita, um, who else went with Rosita? Glenn and Michonne, you know, they went out to kind of get Daryl, who's grieving um, because of Denise, because she died on his watch and because he feels it's his fault because he let Dwight live. Um, who, who, we, everyone wants Dwight to die. I'm fairly sure everyone <laughs> wants Dwight to die now. But, um, you know, this obviously gets, um, gets them in trouble because we see Glenn and Michonne bound and 
we'll get to that part a little bit later, but, um, you know, Carol runs into trouble, and so we've got Morgan looking for her, and then back at the compound we have Maggie, who I think is um, having a miscarriage. She's having, you know, she's having baby problems down there, and I, I think she might be having a miscarriage, and I think, personally, I don't want to get too much into fan theories, but I think this could play a big part in next week's episode when Negan comes along. I think, you know, because everyone, there's kind of like a, a Walking Dead Deadpool um, on, on this last episode because everyone's kind of wondering who is going to die. Like, who are we putting our money on to die? Um, and I kind of think it could be Maggie because let's just say that she did have a miscarriage. You know, she could be, she could fall into depression. She could be unbelievably upset. Or she'll be even more upset when she finds that Glenn's been taken hostage. Um, and, you know, depending on what the circumstances are, if she ends up in the same place as Glenn and, you know, Glenn's fate is kind of sealed in the comics where, you know, Lucille, he cops up from Lucille by Negan, but, um, you know, we could have a twist of events where Maggie maybe sacrifices herself to save Glenn now that she's lost the baby and Glenn might not. I don't know, like, it's just one theory I have kind of rolling around in my head. But look, anyone could die next week. It's really, um, it's really all up in the air and there's no kind of indication of who it might be other than Glenn because that's what happens in the comic books. But um, I also find it really interesting that Andrew Lincoln um, was quoted as saying um, that after reading the script, he felt ill. Um, he couldn't sleep properly. The script for the final episode, that is. Um, you know, he was waking up during the night and he couldn't sleep and he felt ill. And even Lauren Cohan, she didn't want to even go to work because of what happened in this final episode. So um, I'm assuming it's going to be absolutely brutal and and terrible and I just oh, I'm I'm already like emotionally preparing <laughs> myself because I don't know what's going to happen so but um what else happened what else is worth talking about Daryl of course the way the whole um the whole episode ended before we get to Daryl though I'm really worried about Carol because she is um a broken woman at the moment you know even though she did shoot all the um, people that confronted her in this episode she's broken and I worry because it's a big change from the warrior woman that she grew to be um, you know, it's getting to her now. I think Morgan has kind of had an almost negative impact on her. She may think it's positive, but I, th for me, I'm like, no, no, Carol, this is really bad. You don't want to go soft. You can't go soft in an environment like this, but I think it's starting to play on her. So I really worry that she is going to be in the line of fire next week. But like I said, could be anyone. I just, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so the episode, um, it ends with Daryl, um, he's, you know, upset because he let Dwight live back in the forest, tried to help him, and then, you know, ultimately it cost Denise her life because he shot her with the arrow, um, with the crossbow, and, you know, Daryl's feeling kind of responsible, and, um, you know, you, you I, I get it, I get the you know, the whole, if Daryl dies, we write, because he has been such an integral part of the show, even though he wasn't a real character in the comic books, but, um, people have really grown to love Daryl, and of course, you know, everyone, well, not everyone, but a lot of ladies love Norman Reedus, so, um, and a lot of men love Norman Reedus too, but, um, it's 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 a little bit scary because obviously the way that the episode ended um he got confronted by Dwight um and it appears that Daryl was shot um now I think that he got shot in the shoulder so it's probably not a fatal wound as such however I find I'm really confused because at the end of the episode someone says he'll be all right or, you know, you'll be all right. And it sounds like Daryl. So you kind of, you see Dwight shoot the gun. And you assume that Cheryl, uh, Cheryl Daryl got shot. 
But then if he did get shot, why would he be saying, you'll be all right? It's very, I mean, you know, it's kind of been left it open-ended. So, you know, everyone's freaking out a little bit. <laughs> but um, I, I thought that was a really clever way to end because, you know, it's a bit of a cliffhanger and everyone's already on edge because everyone's dreading next week because no one knows who's going to die. No one knows how many people are going to die. Um, and the only really thing that I'm kind of looking forward to next week is... Um, seeing Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Negan because um, he's a wonderful actor and I think he's just going to be amazing as Negan. But um, yeah, I want to know your guys' thoughts. I want to know what you're thinking. Um, I want you to leave me a comment. Um, anyone who's watched this this far, I want you to leave me a comment. We're going to have our own Walking Dead Deadpool. I want you to leave a comment and let me know who you think is going to die. Um, or if anyone's going to die or maybe if no one's going to die, um, I want you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I want you to also tell me what you thought of this episode um, and how you think next week's going to play out. So um, there you have it, you guys. That's my little Walking Dead rant for this week. Um, oh, I'm just, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready for next week, but it's happening and we're going to just have to deal with it. And I... For the sake of the show, I, I hope Negan comes in in a big bad way, um, but I'm just so worried <laughs> because you become, it's funny because you become so emotionally invested in these characters, you know, that it almost is like watching family, um, you know, the lives of your family and what's happening because you become so emotionally invested in these characters and you know, you want to see their survival and you're, you champion them to survive, but I guess all good things come to an end eventually. So, um, yeah, you guys, let's um, let's try not to freak out while we wait for the last episode of this season of The Walking Dead. But make sure you leave me a comment. Tell me who you think is going to die next week. Tell me what you thought of this episode. Tell me what you think is going to happen next week. Um, and if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, until next time, you guys, I'm Natty Frankenstein, and I will see you later.